Hey everyone, now today we're looking at another part of ear training and that is chord recognition. Okay, now today we're going to be looking at major chords and minor chords, specifically three note chords or triads. Now, you can break down major and minor chords as being happy sounding chords, major, and sad sounding chords, minor. You can literally just break that down. So you can really just break it down to that. Major chords sound like happy chords, minor chords have that flattened third and they sound like sad notes. Okay, now flattened third, what does that mean? Alrighty, so we've got a major chord, okay? Now, we've got this C major chord, the notes are C, E, and G. And how do we get there? Easy. All we did is make up a scale and we did that with tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, or two frets, single fret, two frets, single fret. We've got that scale, all we want is one, three, five. We don't want any other notes in the scale. Now we've got C, E, and G. Now that's a happy, bright, major sounding chord. Okay? But what if you don't want to write a happy song? What if you want to write a sad song, or you're trying to get your ear used to hearing sad or minor chords, okay? All you do is that third degree, in this case E, you just take it back a semitone. So instead of playing an E note, you would play E flat. Okay, big difference, yeah? So instead of it being a major chord, like that, it's a minor chord. That's all it is, it's just you've taken one note and you've taken it back a semitone, you've made it from a major, flattened it to a minor chord. That's all it is, guys, okay? So hearing the difference between major and minor chords is a really good skill to have, especially if you want to get your ears to the point, and who wouldn't, where you turn on the radio or you turn on a, an album by your favorite band and you listen to the chord progression, you're trying to work out, okay, maybe you can work out the riffs, but maybe you can't work out if they're, you know, what sort of full chords that they're playing because they're all going by too fast. So doing these sorts of ear training exercises will definitely help develop your ears, okay? So all that you're hearing for is you're trying to hear for that third degree. So in all of the chords that I'm going to play, whether it's major or minor, you've just got to try and listen out to the third degree. So you've got the root note, the one, and the third degree, in this case a major third, C, E, and then the fifth, G. Okay, so that's for a C major chord. Nice and happy. But if we flatten that third and take E down to E flat, or the third degree down to a flattened third. Big difference, yeah? Major. Minor. So if you actually know any major chords on the guitar, you actually know the minor chords as well. Let's say you've got a D major chord. So what I would do is I'd write out a D major scale. Okay, start on D, write tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. You've got that D major scale. Take away all the numbers except one, three, and five. So, in your D major chord, that's the notes that you're actually playing. D, F sharp, and A. So the third degree, okay, it's F sharp. Well, F sharp is the second fret on the thin E string. So if you just take that fret backwards, if you just flatten it, or flatten the third degree down to F, onto the first fret, you've got D minor. It's that easy. Changes the chord completely, doesn't it? So D major, D minor. Okay, so just have a go when you're looking at reading your fretboard. If you know any of those major chords, chances are you can, you can play the minor chords as well. You just have to change a finger or two but you'll know the theory, and that's the best bit. So guys, I'm gonna play some different examples of major and minor chords, okay? This is just our learning video, so you'll definitely still be able to see my fingers and my hand placement. So, if you do wanna challenge yourself, look away from the video, or you know, scroll down to the comment section and don't actually watch what my fingers are doing, and see if just using your ears, you can pick up whether it's a major chord or a minor chord, okay? So I'm gonna play 10 different examples. All right guys, so I'm gonna do 10 different questions now. Now, because this is a learning video, I'm just gonna play it once and we're gonna do each string separately, then I'll play all the strings at once, okay? But in the testing scenario, you'll hear each chord three times. Let's get started.
that's it guys, was it too hard, was it too easy, were you looking at my hands or were you looking away, comment below and uh, let me know guys, but did you like the effort that I put in on this video, click like, there's going to be lots more ear training videos, we're just doing the very beginning and soloing tips coming up guys, otherwise, see you again, bye.